Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Beloved, today we are going to read a very beautiful psalm from the King James Version Bible. Let us pray. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, Lord Jesus Christ. Lead us, guide us, help us, be with us and bless us. Amen. Psalm 73, The Perspective of Eternity, a Psalm of Asaph. Truly, God is good to Israel, to such as are pure in heart. But as for me, my feet had almost stumbled, my steps had nearly slipped, for I was envious of the boastful when I saw the prosperity of the wicked. For there are no pangs in their death, but their strength is firm. They are not in trouble as other men, nor are they plagued like other men. Therefore, pride serves as their necklace. Violence covers them like a garment. Their eyes bulge with abundance, and they have more than heart could wish. They scoff and speak wickedly concerning oppression. They speak loftily. They set their mouth against the heavens, and their tongue walks through the earth. Therefore, his people return here, and waters of a full cup are drained by them. And they say, How does God know? And is there knowledge in the Most High? Behold, they are the ungodly, who are always at ease. They increase in riches. Surely I have cleansed my heart in vain, and wash my hands in innocence. For all day long I have been plagued, and chastened every morning. If I had said, I will speak thus, behold, I would have been untrue to the generation of your children. When I thought how to understand this, it was too painful for me. Until I went into the sanctuary of God, then I understood their end. Surely you see them in slippery places. You cast them down to destruction. Oh, how they are brought to desolation, as in a moment they are utterly consumed with terrors, as a dream when one awakes. So, Lord, when you awake, you shall despise their image. Thus my heart was grieved, and I was vexed in my mind. I was so foolish and ignorant. I was like a beast before you. Nevertheless, I am continually with you. You hold me by my right hand. You will guide me with your counsel and afterward receive me to glory. Whom have I in heaven but you? And there is none upon earth that I desire besides you. My flesh and my heart fail, but God is the strength of my heart and my portion for ever. For indeed those who are far from you shall perish. You have destroyed all those who desert you for harlotry, but it is good for me to draw near to God. I have put my trust in the Lord God, that I may declare all your works. Amen. Here ends the reading of Psalm 73. Beautiful guidance and blessings. Yes, it is true. 
as the word says in verse 25, Whom have I in heaven but you? And there is none upon earth that I desire besides you. Yes, a mighty God will take care of us and he is our Emmanuel, God with us. He will provide all our needs as he is our Yahweh Ire. Genesis 22 verse 14, Genesis 22 verse 8. God bless you. Numbers chapter 6, 24 to 27. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen.